Hello, hello, welcome to Susie Fans. Please, today I want to start harvesting of this fruit. And normally, as I told you, I always leave my fruit. You can see how big they are, you know, and uh, uh, they are now ready for harvesting. And for those of you who are new to the channel, please kindly like, subscribe to my YouTube channel or my Facebook page, and make sure you follow me because when you do like that, anytime when I drop a video, it will appear on your timeline. So normally, this fruit, I actually tip it, you know, I prune it, I prune the tip so that all the nutrients can go on the fruit for the fruit to grow on the 31st of August. And today is actually the 15th of October and we'll start harvesting. If you actually look under here, you will see banana peelings. You can see the banana, how I put it on here so that all the, the nutrients should go faster to the fruit so that it will be big for harvesting. And today it is really the day of harvesting, you know. You can see they are really big and normally before i harvest my fruit i make sure that some of them have dropped on the soil so i will just look around to see if i have some fruit on the soil once i have uh, some of the fruit on the soil then it means it is ready for harvesting so let me check let me check how many are on the soil oh yes i got one here you see, this one is really ready, it's really big. Can you see, it's really juicy and soft. And I've got two here. You see, it's really juicy and soft. So this means the fruits are ready for harvesting because some of them has gotten ripe enough and nature is making them to drop down. So when they drop, one just drop here. When they drop like this, it means they are ready for harvesting and i always like to i'll start harvesting this one if you see you see that you see the thick fruit the thick fruit has some cracks on it i like my freaks fix when they have this little cracks on it because it really shows that it has really grown to maturity and it's ready for eating so i will be harvesting 10 each day yes this is the third year of me having this uh, fruit uh this is the third year and I've harvested just 33 fruits already. That was the spring production. So this is the summer production. I even thought maybe I would not have any fruit because the first of September, places were very cool and I thought I might not be able to harvest the fruit because when places are really cool, the small fruits that have uh, 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 that are on the tree will just get dormant and when they get dormant they will stay like that to the next year maybe in March April then they will continue growing to 17 degree centigrade and I just discovered that the fruit start growing again and producing ripe fruit so I'm really lucky to be able to have this you see this one has cracked as I said I will be doing just 10 fruits this is how I harvest I just look for the one that has cracked a bit I know they are ready. I want to have it just 10 a day because I'm really that type of person that I love harvesting and eating same day because then the nutrients in the food are very nice. They are very delicious. They are very yummy and they are very crunchy. Yes, there are so many health benefits of fig tree because fig, as you see them like this, they actually they have a lot of fibers and these fibers help to aid digestion, you know, uh, thick also make you to feel full it, and it also help you to lose weight those who are going for flat tummy they can use um, always eat thick like this you know so that's why I keep on encouraging people plant thick in your own backyard you see I don't know how many I've harvested but I will be harvesting just 10 per day because I'm the queen of harvest and it one two three four five six seven eight nine I need to harvest one more so you have them and harvested this one and anytime when I harvest what I do is I remove some of the leaves because yes there are too many leaves here and uh, one of the things that make me to that I oh, why I always remove the leaves especially the one that are turning brown you see how I'm selecting them is because I want the fix actually to 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 get all the nutrients should be concentrated on this fruit so that it will bear so as I, I'm harvesting like this, the more I harvest, the more the nutrient will be concentrating on the ones that have not yet grown to maturity so that they can grow, open up, and get ripe faster. So, yeah, you can see all of this one are brown already. 
all of this one are brown already you see they are really brown they have developed they are growing so well you know the small ones that are there will keep growing and i'll be harvesting 10 a day 10 a day from today i'll keep harvesting so the more i harvest and i'm harvesting i'm removing all the brown leaves so that all the nutrients should concentrate on the fruit because once they are brown it means photosynthesis uh, uh, can no more take place on the leaves so there's no need diverting from nutrients to the leaves so all my nutrients should actually get to the fruit and get my fruit to get ripe as fast as possible so i always remove some of the leaves remove some of the leaves as i'm doing like this the more leaves you remove, the faster the fruit will grow, you know. If I was in a tropical country, I would not be removing the leaves, worrying myself doing all this. But because winter will set in very soon, we even thought the winter was here, luckily, the temperature rise a bit. Because of climate change, yes, that's why it started growing all over and I'm able to have this fruit. But I'll remove some of the leaves. 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 You know, if you see under the tree, you will see a lot of forage. The leaves are here. You have um, onion peelings. You have potato uh, peelings. You have the leaves that have removed. All of these are supplying nutrients for them to grow as fast as possible. Because I really want them to grow as fast as possible, so that I can harvest you know before the winter set in normally i always tell you i harvest in my farm to the end of october so yeah i don't really know which one maybe let me take one step from this one. Oh yes this is it so you see i finally harvested 10 fruit i will just have it just 10 no more than 10 please no more than 10 no more than 10 so this is it i already have it here can you see it? Bring the camera closer. So this is actually the 10 fruits that I harvested today. And it is really, really, really big. And it is juicy. Let me try to open one so that you see how it looks like. Can you see that? Can you see that? Can you see that the fruit is really ready for eating? And it is yummy. Oh my god. Oh my god, it is yummy. It is so delicious. Packed full with nutrients. You know, when you eat it like this, it reduces your blood pressure. It also helps to reduce weight, better heart health. It is very good. And some studies claim that it can help with cancer. I don't know how far that is true, but it may really help you with a lot improve your immune system and fight off many diseases so please what are you waiting for plant your own fixed fruit behind your house and make sure you can eat about two or three fix every day so this is my harvest for today tomorrow i'll be here again to have it because i have it just what i can eat at the end of the day it's behind my house and i have the privilege and the opportunity to harvest anytime i want to eat thank you thank you thank you thank you please kindly like subscribe follow my page I always be ready at all time to come around when I post new videos. Thank you. It is really yummy. It is really succulent. This is organic, natural. That every blessed day, I make sure I harvest at least 10 of them and eat in my house. You see how yummy it is. This is what they call organic fruit.